right, welcome to SVX 2023. My name is Joe. I'm Rusty. I'm with us today. Cody Owens. Welcome. Thank you. So what are you doing here at SPX? Yeah, what's going on? I am exhibiting uh, GB4 and selling comics, which I guess would help what I'm doing here. <laughs> it'd be weird to sell anything else. Yes. Yeah. And it'd be, and it'd be weird not to sell comics. So. It'd be weird not to sell comics, and it would be really weird to bring my pottery collection here Although, and try to distribute them. You never know. Unless it, there was comics on the pots. There could be some crossover. Oh, comics on the pots. Yeah. There you Whoa. go. Pottery comics that are actual pottery. Oh my god, the Holy. volumes would be so massive. <laughs> and heavy. And sh sh shelves. That's issue one on that bookshelf. Yes. Yeah. That's issue one. This is the reprints or the, or the variant or whatever. <laughs> yes. This other like China cabinet full of things. It's just a different different type of ceramic or something. <laughs> yeah. There's a glaze on it. These are the various cover artists or whatever, just different pots, <laughs> different plates. So is this your first SPX? Yeah, this is my first ever SPX ever in any form or wow. way. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Even in your minds. Like, Even in my mind. Yeah. No. I didn't know SPX existed until I literally stepped into the convention floor and I was like, wow. Wow. Hey. You're so fortunate that you had a table. Glad this is here. <laughs> yeah. No, it's crazy. Once I leave, I'll probably forget it exists. It's fine. You know? Well, yeah. And that's, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a gas. You'll, you'll forget. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Totally. That's, yeah. that's part of the experience. Yeah. That's the fun part. <laughs> so tell us about your comic. Yeah. Um, I have a few. Well, they're, they all share the same general theme of very uh, leftist, socialist, anti-capitalist. Um, I have a few that are just like fantasy short stories. I have a weird west. I have giant robots fighting giant aliens. So there's a, in terms of genre fiction, there's a fairly good variety, but they all kind of have the same, uh, as someone put it, ex exploring the bleak reality that we live in with humor. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So I like you're them. really going for lighthearted, uh, you know, just easy fare. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's definitely some, uh, uh, there's some swear words and there's some not light topics, but it's like the humor makes it easier to oh, absolutely. approach. Yes. Yeah, exactly. How long have you been making comics? Making comics since first grade. Um, wow. Actually, like, you know, in a professional capacity, probably like 10 years. That's, nope. I mean, that's still a yeah, long that's time. Significant. You said it like this is number is going to be less impressive. Yeah. 10 years. But six, 10 years is a lot. Only a six, decade. Six to 10 years in that range. Okay, sure. Yeah. yeah, time's a construct. I forget. Well, and you know, just like the show, you're going to forget the show. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Exactly. Why do you make comics? Um, well, there's, I mean, I'm not smart enough to write, or I can't sit down and write a book. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not savvy enough to do video games. I have to draw, and I like telling stories, so they, it meshes together well. Sounds you know? like it. Yes. Yeah, and especially when you kind of like find genres that you like or like topics or messages that you want to get out there, it's much easier to then make the comic like for it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it is just like, I have an idea, I think it's cool. I don't know how else to like get it out there to people. And I, my girlfriend's probably sick of me sitting on the couch and telling her about my ideas. You know, so next so, best thing so is comics. Like, just draw it. Come yeah, on. just draw it. Just get it out there. I don't want to hear it anymore. Yeah. Bring, yeah, if you bring me the comic when it's done. We'll yeah. Get it out of your system and then come talk to me. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But do you ever truly get it out of your system? Yeah. I don't know. I still uh, overshare with her about every idea I have and things like that. So. <laughs> I but guess you, not. But that, you know what? That's a gift. It's yes. a gift. Yeah. It's, I, I, I'm definitely inclined towards visual storytelling. And I usually always try to think of things as like, is this interesting? Would this be a cool comic? And if it's not, then I just have a comic in my hand. And if it is, then people have it in their hands. Yeah. I guess. So, yeah. And that's always one of the things, too, is like, you want to go with what you're passionate about. Yeah. And tell your story. 100%. And then it'll find the audience. Yeah, and that's the, the great thing about comics, especially like the literary, the more SBX kind of like comics, like comics people in general, but especially the people here, their, their interests are broad. They're very like, they're here because they want to be here. There's, mm -hmm. there's nobody selling Funko Pops, so like they're here for books. Yeah. So you're going to find somebody who's interested. Yes. You know, and for then sure. you come here and find things that you, don't, you didn't know you were interested in or you find something completely new. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, you know, I, I think there's a concept that if you go really niche, that basically you're, you're throwing away a lot of potential audience. Members. The thing is, though, you're also making it easier for the people that would be into that to find oh, yeah. it. Yes. And to connect oh, yeah. With it. No, I, 
I even told someone if you find your niche market, like if you go super, super niche, then that means there's like nothing else out there that's like it, which means you've cornered a market. Okay, yes. That's also the way if you go really personal, because mm -hmm. there's not gonna be somebody else telling your story your way. Yeah, the, the, the pers your personal experience can be incredibly impersonal in the way that people can relate to it, because you never know if you have a story, someone might be like, I had that exact same experience and I was never able to put it into words until you came up or Absolutely. I read your comic. Yeah, it's, it's just a, a great way to express yourself. Ultimately. Oh, I, I totally agree. Yeah. How has your show been? Uh, good. I mean, I don't like flying. I'm coming from California. Oh, so that's ways to fly. So. Uh, yeah. So, uh, aside from flying, it's been good. Um, I've never been to the East Coast. Oh well. Uh, it's very humid. Oh uh, God. Yeah. 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 It's, Unfortunately, it's, this this week was showing off too. It was like. Yeah. Totally but it's 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 been good. Um, I like it. I like it so far. I been at my table by myself so I didn't have a whole lot of time to like walk the floor mm -hmm. um, but what I did see was really cool so yeah I'm enjoying it well, nice. that's good yeah 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 have you seen anything here that's been inspiring to you oh yeah oh yeah lots of things I uh, unfortunately wasn't able to pack my sketchbook because I was trying to pack all the extra prints I made and things like right. that so in my notebook I've been like trying to like sketch or doodle or things like that and just like seeing everything, just like ideas, um, like how, like it's like especially covers. Just like walking around and like seeing covers and not knowing at all what's going on. It's like that's a cool cover. I'm gonna steal that cover idea. Oh good. <laughs> yeah. uh, all artist theft, you know. Sure. Essentially, yeah, yeah. it's just making you, it so it you looks. You can just go around taking photos of their stuff. Like, Guys, don't worry. I'm just gonna steal this. Yeah, it's yeah. Fine. No, I, I very one very intentionally asked an artist if I could take a photo of how he inked water for the intention of stealing how they inked water. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, that, well, that's the thing, you know, especially with techniques and things like that, mm -hmm. you know, people would think it's like stealing. No, it's just like it's being taught. You yeah. Know? It's just like it's no different than if someone officially taught you in an art class. You know? Yeah. They're just sharing I techniques. tried to say that to the 7-Eleven. I was like, no, 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 you taught me this Kit Kat. <laughs> No, you, yeah, you taught it to me. I yes. learned it. I learned hey, this Kit I didn't Kat. steal it. And this yep. is our Kit Kat, all right? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Really? You know, it's when you don't, in, in terms of like, you know, stealing cover designs or something, if you're stingy and you don't like that kind of thing, art doesn't like grow. You, it's, it just kind yeah. of stays oh, no. stagnant. Very much. Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm more than willing for anybody to take a photo or read what I have and then just rip it off exactly. Or if they want to ask me how I did, I let them know too. Yeah. You know? Uh, uh, that's what I was gonna say is like if you say like, can I take a picture of how you drew water? Yeah. Like I guess the person could be annoyed, but I would think they'd be more likely to be like that's pretty cool that he thinks I did the water yeah. really well. Yeah, exactly. If if somebody likes what you're doing enough to like steal it in the sense of like to then turn to out like to, something new, yeah. yeah. That's a good thing. That, that means, means an inherent compliment. To yeah. With. Yeah. Yeah, th th there is the difference of you know photocopying and then just like reprinting oh, as like course. everything. Yeah. That's yeah. completely different. But yeah, if somebody was like, "This is amazing. I want to do exactly what you did," I would probably break down crying. Right. It's like, oh my god, thank you so much. This is wonderful. Yeah. I think you should you should tell people that. Like, I hope you like my comics. And if you could come back later <laughs> and tell me that you want to do something the way I did it, yeah, please. I need that emotional release. Declare I'll look my them in the eyes when, 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 <laughs> when I hand it to them. If you don't, I'm gonna cry in the shower tonight. <laughs> like I'm gonna cry either way, guys. That's, yeah, kinda, that's a weird deal. Either I cry in front of you, yeah, or crying in the shower. I'm gonna cry either way, but is it a happy cry or a sad cry? That's up to you. That's on you, yeah, man. Yeah, what exactly. A mm -hmm. It's like sometimes when you get purchased, you get a receipt, and this is a terrible receipt yeah, to give. Like, here, don't forget, I'm gonna cry either way. Yeah, next time I go to Target, it's gonna be a really weird interaction when the Target person tells me that exact same thing. It's gonna, it's gonna have like that survey link at the end. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Please decide how I'm gonna cry. Did this person Please. touch you or touch your soul emotionally? It's like, uh, uh, yes. An eight, I guess? Eight out of 10? Uh, On a scale of six to 10, uh, would you say? <laughs> <laughs> would you say? On a scale between, um, Yes, I love this to, this is the only thing I'm going to read from now on. Yeah. How much yeah. did you like it? In that range. Yeah, I mean, that I range. think that that is the way to survey. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's actionable feedback. In order <laughs> to, to get the, real, the, the results you want, you have to construct the survey the way you want it. Of like course. That. Big yes. brain ideas. Uh, this, is that, this is the way I live my life. That's exactly right. Yeah. 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 Shake, I don't wanna, shake your own destiny. I don't want to grow. I don't want to change. I just want to be the same more. Yeah. <laughs> Good. That's how you should be. 
Uh, so where can people find out more about your work online if they wanted to check out one of your books? Yeah. Um, all of my books, except for my newest one, is on my, on my website, uh, CodyOwens.art. Um, I have Instagram. I think I'm Odie Bean. Um, I'm bad with social media and updating things, and I'm trying to get better at it. So those are the two best, the only ways to keep up with me. Yeah, I don't... I have a Twitter or X, but it's... I forgot my password, so that's gone. So it's that's a, yeah. you don't have one. Basically, yeah, I well, don't have one. You have like an archive of everything up until you forgot your password, I guess. Yeah, even then the archive's not great. So, okay, yeah, yeah, it's there's, so, a, there's like one or two, and it was mainly just asking where, where my friend is, and that's it. Yeah, not, uh, not super Twitter enthusiastic. Got it. Now, before we let you go. Yes. Would you like to answer a mystery question? I would. Let's bring in the machine. Let's do it. I should have said my answer's a mystery, too. Oh, wow. You can choose it to handle this Layers. how you wish. We're going to cry either way. <laughs> We're going to cry Let's either way. Let's bring in the big porter truck. I didn't know a truck was involved. Oh, I'm so excited. Pop the back of that bad boy in there. There's a quarter for you. I have never been delivered a quarter in such an enthusiastic way. We, to please. we have small goals and we try to attain them. <laughs> Are these your quarters? Is this just a never ending feed of you yeah. putting quarters oh, yeah. in and taking yeah. them out? Absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. I can't open oh, this. Yeah. Some of them are very. Put it in your mouth, Lester. Oh, please don't. Put it yeah. in your mouth. Last resort. What is my favorite kind of horse? Okay, well. Favorite kind of horse. I have a, an appreciation for all animals. I don't trust horses in the oh. sense that did they evolve specifically for humans to ride them? Like, they're almost like perfectly just to be ridden. Yes. So that's kind of sketchy. You think it's a honey trap? I you think, think it's a honey trap. Man. They're smart. They're incredibly smart animals. They're friends with dogs. They bite. It's, I don't know, there's just something about them that I'm not buying. That being said, my favorite horse is probably a gray horse, because I don't know why. I just like how they're gray and their manes are usually like white. I don't know anything about horses. Okay. I so. appreciate that you answered the question, but I must be honest, I'm stuck on the fact that you don't trust horses. I love it. It's, 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 it's I don't trust them, and I also, I respect them enough to give them their distance. I like that. You are a wild animal. I am going to give you six feet of distance. Also, I don't know if you can actually talk, so. Well, that, what you just said, that's exactly how I feel about him. Yes. I, I trust them. I'm sorry, I don't trust them. I do respect them. I don't know if he can talk. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't know so. if he was you know, bred to be ridden. I don't know. To these are the questions you gotta ask. Yeah. And I like the idea that it's like the gray horse, but you're not sure why. And then mm -hmm. you have to think, did the gray horse like influence me in this way? Did it set you up? Did it set me yeah. up to try and be my favorite? Who knows? Am I being manipulated by gray horses? I have some soul searching to do with gray horses and just why I like them other over other horses. Yeah. Yeah. That could be a comic now, too. That yeah. that could be a comic. There you go. Great. Horse Mystery 2025. If you just oh, call it Great nice. Horse Great Horse Mysteries, you can see like what are they up to? What are they finding out? Who knows? Let's find out. <laughs> like how are we gonna solve this mystery? Where are the great horses? Well, I don't know. I, mean, I haven't seen one recently, so it could be that they're conspiring. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Like, have you ever seen a bunch of horses like grouped together? No, because they're smart. They don't want people to know they're up to something. Yeah. You know, like herds. I know, I've never seen an actual horse herd. No. You yeah. tell me a horse herd, I'm like, I'm sure I know about that. Yeah. Can you picture one? No. It's I've a seen, concept I believe in. Yeah. Yes. I've seen cows grouped together. I've seen other like herd animals, horses. They're always on a ranch, like doing their own thing. It's like at the far ends of like the fences. And yeah. yeah. Because they know if they're grouped together, people are going to get suspicious. Like, what That's are those horses exactly. talking about? What are they yeah, doing? I wonder if they ever yeah. excommunicate horses for getting sloppy. Like, no, I mean, you're oh, drawing man. too much attention. Yeah. yeah. You're almost going to give it up. No. Yeah. Who knows, man? These are these are some questions that it's going to keep me up tonight. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah, it's what well, you're here for. You know Better to know. You can think about it on your long flight back to California. Yeah, you can think about it about the five-hour flight back to California. 
Hoorah. He, he may land to change van with a, with a new mission. I may land in San Francisco being a horse enthusiast. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe my pilot's a horse, and I have to choose Maybe to like them. Maybe we're being funded by Big Horse. Are you being funded by Big Horse? To talk about and think about horses. Now, things are connecting. Yeah. The dots are connecting now. I get it. I get it. I understand. These stars just became a constellation. Yeah. Oh. Horse VX. Well, I think I think we're, we're good. We're done. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this I think is, we've, we've covered good. a lot of important topics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just code for me to leave now. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's code for us to think of new topics. Oh, yes. Brand new topics. Or or you can leave now. Or I do have to get back to my table. That's oh, your okay, table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure there's other people who probably want to come and talk to you guys. So well, hopefully you get some good uh, feedback. Feedback and uh, mm -hmm. maybe you get to have a good cry. Some horse info at the table from people. I'm looking for good compliments to make me cry and horse info. That's these are the things. Guys, visit yeah. his socials. If you can help, get in there. Get, get on get on these accounts. Bring in the information. Thank you. Thanks awesome. for sitting with us. Thank you so Thanks. much for the talk.